Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace your idle air control valve in a 1993 Dodge Ram van. It's a B250 318 engine, but it's a typical sensor that are on these, and I got a new one. It looks a little different than the old part. I have no idea if this will fix my problems, but the installation looks super easy, so let's get right into it. So first step is to take off the doghouse. Mine has two clips on either side. I undo and then I have to lift it out and take it out of the van. I'm gonna do that now. It wouldn't be so heavy if I didn't keep so much breath in it. Next step is to take off the air filter. Don't want to lose this wing nut. So this is the part we're replacing. It is the idle air control valve. It's just got a simple clip with a wire harness attached to it. And then these two screws I'm gonna take off. Oh crap, they're stars. You do? Mm -hmm. And Addie is a champ and has them. <laughs> so we're gonna go get that and then start replacing it. In a previous video, I replaced the wire harness on my throttle position sensor. And that is what this is. I've had a few different people look at it and my job was done well. So I'll tell you a little bit of my symptoms while I'm waiting for her to get the tool is that I have a really bad idle and it doesn't like to idle while I have a hot engine or after I've just driven and it's kind of iffy when it's cold as well. It might be the motor in here sticking. It could be a coolant sensor. So today we're going to do this and then if it's still acting up pretty bad I'll probably go get some coolant sensors and replace them. The new part is really fancy looking compared to the old part. Looks similar. See if that clip fits into this one. So I'm gonna see if the wire harness fits. It's just got this simple clip and it snakes out. Uh, looks like four prongs and four prongs. Does not wanna go in. There, okay. Nice. So that's cool, got that and then this is what the new piece looks like. They say they improve them over the years, so this will look different than the one I'm gonna take off. Which I've got. It needs a star screw, at least mine does. And it's the, just whatever Addy had. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, save that. The neighbors have crazy dogs. <laughs> oh, this one doesn't want to go. Save that. So the old part has this spring loaded and you can like, my dad pushed it in. I can't do it. But the same Pretty much looks the same. Okay. Now I'll stick this one on. Looks good. Okay, I'll start my van. Let's see if it works. That was 
was a really good start. That was a really intense start. In the past, did have a really weak idle. So we'll see if this works, if this solves my idling problem. But huh, I'm happy that it's starting at least. <laughs> it's the right part. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for watching this video about how to replace your idle, idle air control valve. Uh, if you want to check out my other videos of fixing my 1993 Dodge van, check those out. See you in the next video. Bye! Hey there everyone, I want to clean the... Da, 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 da. I'm just looking at the screen right now and all I can see is like 7 million little flecks. They're so cute. The bugs in your grass. Go. You should name them. No. They're cute. They're mallards, right? Yeah, probably.